Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, you all. Isn't it wonderful to be alive and well on today? I want to read a reading for you today that is in honor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christmas Day, they saw the young child and fell down and worshipped him. Matthew 2 and 11. Christmas is about Christ. He was born in the humblest of settings, yet heaven above was filled with the songs of angels. His birthplace was a cattle shed, yet a star brought the rich and noble from thousands of miles away to worship him. His birth was contrary to the laws of life, and his death was contrary to the laws of death, Yet no miracle is greater than his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection, and his teachings. He had no cornfields or fisheries, yet he spread a table for 5,000 and had bread and fish to spare. He never stood on expensive carpeting, yet he walked on the waters and they supported him. His crucifixion was the crime of crimes. Yet from God's perspective, no less a price could have been made possible, our redemption. When he died, few mourned his passing, yet God hung a black cape over the sun. Those who crucified him did not tremble at what they'd done, yet the earth shook under them. Sin never touched him. Corruption could not get hold of his body. The soil that was written with his blood, could not claim his dust. For over three years, he preached the gospel. He wrote no book. He had no headquarters, and he built no organization. Yet 2,000 years later, he's the central figure of human history, the perpetual theme of all preaching, the pivot around which the ages revolve, and the only redeemer of the human race. At this season of celebration and gift giving, let's join the wise men who fell down and worshiped him. Let's remember Christmas is about Christ. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's remember Christmas is about Christ. Be blessed, everybody, and have a wonderful and blessed Christmas.